released macOS Big Sur 11.2. Now this update has a few bug fixes, not necessarily any new features, and a whole lot of security related updates. So today we're going to go through everything new here in version 11.2. Okay, so let's talk about the issues that were resolved first. So the first one here is external displays may show a black screen if you're using the new Mac Mini with the M1 chip and you're using one of these. This is the HDMI to DVI converter. So if you were having problems with your brand new M1 Mac Mini connecting to a DVI display, well, that should be resolved now. Next thing here is if you're using the Photos app on your Mac to edit some new Pro Raw photos from your nice new iPhone 12, well, there was an issue where if you made the edits in Photos, they would actually not save. So you go in, you start editing your photo, you get it all how you want it, and you click done and it just reverts back to the original. So that should be fixed now as well. Next one had to do with your iCloud Drive. So there's actually a problem where it could turn itself off if you disable the iCloud Drive desktop and documents folder option. So you have the ability in your Apple ID settings and then you go into iCloud Drive settings, you can choose what you want to be backed up. You can actually choose your entire desktop and your documents folder in your library. So if you were to disable those two, because some people like myself may not want all that stuff to be backed up, well, the problem was iCloud Drive could just completely turn itself off after disabling those. So that should be fixed now as well. If we head into our system preferences and we needed to make some changes, some administrative changes, so you see some system preference panes here have a little lock icon, and when you click that lock icon, it'll ask you to enter your password in order to make important changes. So there was a problem with the lock actually not unlocking after you entered your password. So that should be good to go now as well. And then the final bug related fix here was the globe key. So some uh, keyboards have the globe key. Mine does not have it, but if you were to hit your globe key and your emojis and symbols would not appear when pressed, then that should be resolved now. Again, you can go up here to edit and then emojis and symbols and they'll pop up like that. But this is only if you have the globe key and you were having problems with it not working properly. Now that's everything to do with issues and fixes and problems uh, in 11.2. The main thing to do with this update was actually security related. So I'll put this link in the description below and you can check out all the security related fixes uh, for this update. And also it's important to note that if you're still a Catalina or Mojave user, they did security updates for those as well. So I'll scroll down here just kind of slowly, but this is a lot of security related items that were fixed. I'm not going to go through all of them because, well, <laughs> we'll be here all day, but you can see that they are all here. I mean, they are just filling this entire uh, Apple support page with security updates. So. If you know somebody on Catalina or Mojave, be sure to tell them to update as well, uh, you know, because these security fixes are always very important. Uh, so if you ever see a security update, be sure to update it. But yeah, that's everything to do here in 11.2. Not a huge update. The betas are already being released for the next one. So we'll have to see uh, what is in those. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. Quick video, quick update. Be sure to get it for those security related reasons alone, in my opinion. But as I always say now, because there's been so many problems with people updating, update your own risk. Uh, if you have an older Mac, like a, what is it, a 2013 or 14 that supports Big Sur, uh, you may want to hold off and make sure people don't have issues because those older Macs with these newer softwares are usually the ones that tend to have the most problems updating. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thank you all for watching as always, and I'll catch you all in the next video.